I know you're looking at me right now, you're like, Tatiana, what happened to you? I did make a video on what I did here. Hard times, hard times, guys. Hello, my beautiful people, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I am bringing you another little waist training video. If you didn't watch my last yeah, my last video on wearing waist trainer for 30 days to see my results and what happened. Go check that out. And I'm just here to like talk all about waist training, kind of go a little bit more in depth, answer your questions, assumptions, some opinions that I got. I didn't get any questions on the video, so I just went on my Instagram and asked you guys. And I got some really interesting ones that I was extremely shocked about. So I'm like excited to address them here for you guys. I, like I said before, am not new to waist training. I have tried to waist train for the past five years i would say even in high school you know i would try to wear them and like i couldn't be consistent with it because it was so uncomfortable and just not a fun time that i could i just couldn't continue to wear it i wasn't consistent wasn't dedicated i even have these ones that i used before i had another two that i ended up giving to my mom that i bought because i just didn't like them as you can see with this one when i'm sitting it will cut into my hip my like literally my thighs and then halfway up my freaking boobs and then this one just doesn't too stretchy so yeah i tried this one out um for 30 days and literally the best one that i've ever tried the best one that i've ever worn so that's why i decided to like bring continue bringing on these videos for you guys because i truly do like this one um and if you are interested in getting it or just interested in waist training i do have a code tatiana10 for some money off and yeah literally if you go to the lux curves youtube channel and you watch the videos you will get hooked you will literally get hooked in knowing all about waist training. Pretty much like anything that you do, anything and everything that you do, if you do too much or go to extremes, it's it can be dangerous, right? So that's why there's do's and don'ts to waist training and how you are supposed to go about it and how you're not supposed to go about it. That's why I feel like there's so many kind of negative assumptions and opinions about it is because you always kind of see the extreme side to it, but you don't see how it can be super helpful and beneficial. We're gonna go right off the bat. I would say the top assumption, we're just gonna answer it right away, right here, right now. I heard they mold your ribs over time to shape a more snatched waist. Does it affect any bone structure? They mess up your organs. Um, they squish your organs. That it crushes your ribs. There's a difference between corsets and a waist trainers. Waist trainers will not crush your ribs, will not mold your ribs, will not squish your organs, rearrange your organs, corsets will do that. Pretty much the waist trainers have what's called flexi steel bones, I wanna say, is that what they're called? So they're flexible. So they're not like super rigid and like you can move, you can, you know, you can move around and it's not strong enough, it's not powerful enough to do that to your bones and your organs. That is not true. It will not, it's not gonna be unhealthy for you to like mess with your bones and your organs. If you're doing it too much, maybe, you know, if you're, you're not supposed to be wearing it 24 seven every single day. The next one we have here. So how uncomfortable is it? It's not uncomfortable. If you get the wrong size, it can be uncomfortable because the ones that I've had before were the right size. Like I always was a medium, but the length was uncomfortable to wear because it was like squeezing up all the way up here and then squeezing all the way down here. And I like couldn't sit at all in them. So the ones that I've had in the past were very uncomfortable. Um, they were always just like just too much. And especially because the Lux Curves waist trainers have a short torso, medium torso and long torso length. It's very kind of like to your body, you know? So I'm a short torso length and that's why these are perfect for me. It literally cuts right here. Other ones that I've had, I've cut like right down here and like right up here. It's obviously not like you're wearing like a t-shirt comfortable. It's, you don't wanna be wearing this all day long, you know, like more than eight hours a day. Cause it's just, it is something that is holding you together. It shouldn't be painful. It shouldn't be painful or like super uncomfortable. Next one I have, they're addictive and you can become reliant on them. I would say everyone is different. You're supposed to do like the 30 day challenge every day. And then after that you can wear it, you know, two days here, every other day here, or like two times a week. I would not say I've become reliant on it. I took like two days off. Yesterday I wore it. Today I'm wearing it for the video. I haven't been wearing it for like eight hours all the time. 
wearing it like five hours here, two hours, you know, whenever I get the chance to. Everyone's different, but I don't think they are addictive or you can become reliant on them because you're not supposed to wear them 24 seven. Waist ratio is completely genetic. That is true. Um, Everyone in my family that I know we have square bodies we have very broad shoulders and then like waist to hip ratio is pretty similar and that's why we cannot get snatched waists with just exercise and diet that's because that is genetic you know our bodies are square um so that's why this is a tool to help sculpt your body will i get results if i just wear it during the day walking no exercise yeah i would say so you're not supposed to just like sit down or lay down in it all day if you're doing some walking for sure if you wear it during work for sure if you're wearing it while doing chores around the house for sure as long as you're you know getting something in and not just laying down you don't have to do any crazy exercise walking is exercise for sure okay so once you stop wearing them you lose the effect i feel like everyone is different i'll say that time and time again i've seen i think i've seen like one comment somewhere some people said that they stopped wearing it and it actually they kept the figure. I feel like if you're truly dedicated, you'll wear it time and time again. Like you won't just completely stop wearing it forever. If they're uncomfortable, maybe that's the case. It makes your booty pop, I assume. Yeah, I feel like it actually accentuates my hip dips. When I'm sitting, obviously not. It's either pushing the fat up or the fat down. It can make your, your booty pop a little bit. Is it safe to wear the whole day? You're not supposed to wear it the whole day. You're supposed to wear it for a maximum of eight hours. So you can start, I think I got another question on how long you're supposed to wear it. Um, yeah, how many days, how many hours a day do you wear your waist trainer? For the 30 days after the, I think I wanna say the third or fourth day, I was wearing it for eight hours. Some days I would forget. I forgot maybe like one or two days here and there. And then some days I was like super relaxing in the day. So I didn't want to like lay down and like wear it. I would say no more than eight hours and do not wear it when you sleep. One time with my old waist trainer, I fell asleep. I took a nap and I literally, I felt like I couldn't wake up from my sleep. I literally had a panic attack. I couldn't breathe. Like, it was so scary. So please don't wear your waist trainer to sleep. Don't do none of that. You know, you don't need to wear any more than eight hours. You can wear it, I think, for at least five hours, maybe, in between that time span. I wear it to, like, at least four to five hours, at most eight hours. Do you wear the waist trainer while working out or change to a sweatband slash a vest? I wear the sweatband when I work out. I don't... I used to wear my waist trainer while working out because I didn't have a sweatband before. I do also wear the Lux Curves fitness belt um, to work out and I love it. I used to wear the sweat from Amazon and it's not as supportive. I really like the Lux Curves one a lot better. I feel like you can as long as you're not doing any like abs where you'll be like super stretching out the bone structure. Probably not while you're doing cardio because I did once, never again. I could not, I felt like I was gonna faint and I couldn't get it off because it was literally so tight. At least the fitness belt, you can just you know, just take it off super fast. Do they actually work? And I got another comment saying they really do help a bit. They do work and I've known that they work for a really long time. It's just that you have to stay consistent with it and be dedicated to, to wearing them because if you don't wear them, then you won't see results. They definitely do work. I know my mom has been telling me like, are you wearing your faha? And I'm like, no. Nope. She's like, you're lying. You look so tiny. And I'm like, I know, I know. <laughs> If you check out the Lux Curves reviews or like the Facebook group, you'll see real crazy results. Crazy, crazy, crazy results. I've only been wearing mine for like a month and a half now. And like I said, I've gone down an inch. So I feel like as you kind of continue the waist training journey and sizing down, you definitely see a lot more results, like a lot more drastic results. It does take time. It does take a lot of time. And do waist trainers leave a temporary look? I feel like for me, it definitely it gives me that more snatched look. I definitely don't look like this with it off. Over time, my body will sculpt to this kind of figure hopefully definitely like when you have them on i feel like you look way more snatched because it's like like whoop. and then when, <laughs> when you take them off you know it's a little a little bit of a difference um but over time hopefully it's <laughs> so that's it for the questions and I just wanted to say that there's so many different reasons why people can waist train I know there's a lot of stuff to do with like your back and your spine there's just like good posture oh me when I'm editing I'm like when I don't have it I'm like um, but um it's not something that your body will rely on because you're not supposed to wear it all the time we're not supposed to wear it all day but people can wear it for like postpartum belly 
that what it's called? Postpartum belly? They can wear it for the shaping. They can wear it for a lot of different reasons. I would say just don't wear one that's too, too small for you as it can be a little bit dangerous in that sense. If you're wearing it too long, maybe it's very uncomfortable. This is one that I truly, truly love. And as you can see, I have these other ones. In my family, we call them fajas, even though that's like for the BBL, like after the BBL is supposed to work. I've seen it all. I've seen both waist trainers and corsets. I have never tried a corset, but definitely tried lots of different waist trainers. And this has to be one of my favorites, if not my all time favorite. Um, so yeah, I definitely recommend you check out the Lux Curves YouTube channel. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you have any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments or DM me on Instagram. Make sure to comment, like, and subscribe and click that post notification button so you'll be notified every time I upload a video. And yeah, guys, I will see you in my next video. Peace out.